Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another map by map completionist guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are on part 5 of these guides and uh, we are in the Three Horns Valley uh, which is a pretty big map really, nothing massive and huge but uh, there's still quite a lot packed into this map uh, but it's pretty simple really. Uh, so we've got uh, the map layout right here, this is what the, uh, the map looks like of course. A uh, couple of challenges to uh, actually fulfill in this map, nothing too major actually, some maps have 5 or 6 badass rank challenges, this one only has 2. One of them is Cult of the Vault of course, like in every map, um, and this one here, this ain't my first rodeo, can be done right at the beginning, stand on top of the Happy Pig Motel sign. Uh, and there's there's three vault symbols as well. So we're going to do the uh, this ain't no rodeo. This is the pig in question to the left of the fast travel as you're looking at it. There's the happy pig sign, and basically you've got to get on top of that. You do it by going onto this steam pump valve thing that blows steam through the air. Now I mess this up a couple of times, but with the power of editing, you will never know. Apart from it's just suddenly got very dark. So basically, what you've got to do is just time it right so that you can actually. Um, boost yourself up onto there nice and easy uh, and then boom there you go um, you're on top of the pig you've actually got to stand on top of the pig to get it uh, anyway we're going to carry on uh, so right at the start there is these vending machines of course as usual check them for legendary unique gear etc and then uh, this one just around the corner right here the health vendor and then we're going to grab a car and then head to bad moors area which is of course the entrance to the bloodshot stronghold this is where we're going to be starting out now blood bad Moor drops a legendary weapon but before we go for him let's just go up onto this top part jump over across this platform and there is a, uh, a white chest just here to open up then drop down and kill bad Moor. since the community patch has come out you must have the community patch active for this um, Badmore now drops the deliverance shotgun as well and you will see that right now because yes I got lucky on this run and there you go you can see the deliverance shotgun of course with all bosses I will show you the legendary dropping um, but luckily this one happens to be inside the run anyway head towards Badmore's bridge turn to the left and jump over these platforms there is your first vault symbol right here nicely hidden one of the best hidden vault symbols I think in the game um, there's a map reference just so you guys can see it and then just make your way back to the entrance to Badmore's bridge to Bloodshot Stronghold cross it and go to the other side do exactly what you've just done for the vault symbol just on the other side uh, because there is a chest to open uh, open I mean open uh, it's a green dial chest so go ahead and open that and then get your ass out of uh, Badmore's area because we're going to be heading towards Doc Mercy next so we'll run all the way back to the car and then get in turn around and then head towards where we came through from Three Horns Divide there you go entrance there's three entrances really two proper ones and uh, one speed farm one you can actually get you can kill all the enemies right there but basically you just want to kill Doc Mercy who is stood right here uh, I didn't manage to get the infinity on that this is a legendary pistol that drops from Doc Mercy but here you go as promised I will always show the legendary drop in so the uh, legendary infinity drops from Doc Mercy there you go let's pick it up and uh, then carry on with the run nice little infinite ammo pistol right there so uh, we'll get that and do a few kills with it and then switch back to the main run so what you want to do is make your way all the way back to where you just came from but turn to the right this time head towards the other side of the map because we're going to be going just before the entrance to uh, this camp where you go to sell poor steam and power we don't actually need to go in there we just need to climb this ladder run all the way along here and then make your way to this top platform over here you'll see there is a chest to pick up right there just a normal white chest again um, but once you've got that head back up the steps and to the left hand side jump down to where all these pipes are uh, and we're just going to jump all the way over these pipes and then down because our second of three hidden vault symbols is just here once again I'll bring up a map reference here it's right there pretty much smack bang center middle of the map after that, run all the way back to the entrance of South Boston Power. Trust me, this is much quicker. You can make your way to the other parts on foot, but you really want to get yourself a car because there's a lot of driving involved. Head towards the other side of the map to where we've just been then and right up onto this platform here towards this big steam pump and head towards this little house. Once you get close to it, uh, the door will open and a badass psycho and a badass nomad will come out. Try and use the barrels to kill the uh, badass psycho, uh, stun him a little bit. Uh, but basically once you've got them down you can head in and get the third of three vault symbols there's a map reference and that is all badass challenges complete for this map so the only thing we've got left to do now 
is get some chests open. There's no more bosses to farm either, just the two on this map. So we're going to head all the way down towards the water's end of this map and uh, climb up on here, turn left and just do a little skip here. You can get up to this from the other side, but uh, that's a nice little quick skip. Watch out for suicide psychos, they will wreck your day. But once you've opened this chest, uh, have a look if there's any good loot and then make your way back to this area right here. Uh, I got stuck a little bit. Make your way to the middle part of this uh, area of the map and there's a uh, trash chest as I call them up here. Um, it's just a junk chest, nothing major, but get it open and see if you can uh, get anything good from it. Uh, and then after that, just jump down and run backwards a little bit because there is a loot toilet just here to open up. Um, lots of loot toilets on this map actually. There's another one coming up very quickly. Keep progressing all the way down towards this end of the map. You want to be heading for this big bridge over here. There's a loot toilet uh, near the end on the right hand side as you can see. Open that up and then just keep going along. Don't fall into the water like me, that was a stupid move. Um, make your way right to the end here and then just make your way up one flight. Not to the very top, you want to be halfway and then run to the back. And there is a green doll chest once again to open. And that is it guys, that is actually everything you need to know about this map. So quite a big map, only two badass challenges. The uh, Happy Pig Motel um, sign you've got to get on top of using the steam pumps. And then three vault symbols. And then after that of course two bosses to farm as well. Uh, quite a few chests, no really decent chests in this map uh, at all actually. There's no red chests to open which is a bit of a shame. But while you're doing this you may as well just try everything you can. So, there you go guys, that was Map by Map Completionist Guide, number 5, Three Horns Valley. Next episode, I think we might do Bloodshot Stronghold, because um, that's the next area you get to in the main storyline. Uh, but it might change, it could be the dust or something like that, I'll decide. But uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be Bloodshot Stronghold. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed another episode, and I'll see you in the next one.